Before this video gets started, I want to let you guys know that I have a Discord now and I'm very active in it. So if you guys want to come talk to me, if you just want to come promote your shit too, you can come down to my Discord and we can all just have a fun time. And now with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. Okay, so I've recorded this at least four times now, and I'm just trying to get it over with. I'm probably going to be really awkward because I've never done this before, but... I've never done this before either, man. You know, I've never recorded a video of me saying I'm pregnant and then putting it up on the fucking internet for everyone to see. I knew he was like everything I wanted from hair, eyes, to skin, to height, to everything. I knew... You, you didn't even meet this man, like, talk to him, but you, like, I already know... I, Need him in my life, like fuck daddy. Well, not seeing him at all. But as soon as I got to my damn, look at that little monster in the back. You telling me that is your baby? I was like, that's a demon baby right there. Shit, man, look at his eyes. My nigga out here looking dead, hair everywhere. It's like shit, nigga. Fourth period, I walk in and I see him sitting there in the desk, and I was like my luck i end up getting a class with him why is she talking about this guy like she's been avoiding him like the whole school year or something like damn it this motherfucking thirsty ass niggas in my class again nervous and i was a shy person at the time like i don't talk to people i didn't at the time I <laughs> yeah you were shy right you wasn't shy when that dick came out the only reason why she was quiet then was because she knows it's rude to talk with your mouth full but I was still scared. So on the first day, I sat as far away from him as I could. And by the second day... Why are you going to sit as far away from as you can if you're trying to get with him? That makes the least amount of sense in the fucking world. What are you going to do? Just fucking throw a paper airplane over towards him? It hits him in one of his eyes. He's screaming. Then he opens up the paper and it says, I love you. And he's gonna look over there with hard eyes, one eye just fucking swollen and red from you hitting him in the eye with a fucking paper airplane. And he's gonna be like, yes, I want you. You're gonna be my girl for the rest of our lives. That's a fucking Disney movie right there. And this is fucking life. That is not how shit works. You gotta be a fucking dominant. You gotta go over there like, yo, nigga, give me that dick. I wanna slob on that knob like motherfucking corn on a cob. Second day or third day or whatever, the teacher had arranged seats, which is normal. I knew that was gonna- I like how she has to fucking tell us that the teacher's changing the seats is fucking normal. Like how a fucking doctor tells his patient that, oh yeah, we fucking do this surgery all the time. It's fucking normal, fucking standard practice. You're gonna be just fine. Don't worry about it. Happened. She ended up calling his name and then calling my name right after, which meant I sat right behind it. I was nervous. I was scared. So basically what she's saying is she's nervous because because every time she looks up, she's gonna be looking at the back of this nigga's head. Not really anything to be nervous about. It's just a head. And she switches the seats again, and then she calls my name, and I thought I was good, but she calls his name right after mine, which means he now sits behind me. And another week goes by, we still haven't talked, but he starts like tapping his pencil on his desk, and I was getting annoyed, but at the same time, I saw it as a shot to take. I turn around and I tell him to stop. <laughs> I wasn't a nice person. Mommy, how did you marry me? Well, we were in school, right? And I was tapping my pencil on her desk. She turned around and told me to stop. And I was like, yeah, you're going to be telling me that later too, baby. And right there, she fainted because she knew I was about to tear that ass up. But I asked him to stop, and he smiled at me. And as soon as he smiled... Bro, what was that face? Was that the same face she was giving that nigga whenever he was piping her out? Like, Fuck, oh, daddy, keep smiling at me. Fuck, like, bitch, it's a smile. He was like feeling me too. So we kind of started like talking, but only in class. I would say like a couple days. He follows me on Instagram, and I ask him what flavor gum he gave me that day. <laughs> and hmm, you mean what flavor of gum? You know what flavor of gum he gave you that day. Probably ate some fruit before he gave you that gum too. Ain't like you don't know what flavor of gun he gave you that day. We well, you know what flavor of gun he gave you that day. Yeah, well, you know what you talking about. Don't be playing stupid. 
flavor is good. <laughs> and he says, you're going to have to text me to find out. So that was like his like way to like talk to me. I still don't know. What Wait till talk to me. You guys are already texting. This nigga's a fucking idiot. You're on Instagram DMing each other. Is that not texting? I mean, shit, it doesn't even use up your data either. If you're fucking, especially if you're on Wi-Fi. I don't even know why you even fucking with this man. Because you can already tell he's stupid. You gonna have to text me. Bitch, I am texting you. Tell me what fucking flavor of gum you gave me. Talking from there, it was great at first. Like, he was everything I wanted. He was super sweet. It just, it felt like a dream. It was. Do you not know how guys work? I'm guessing not. I'm like, your mama never told you, like, don't trust these niggas. It's like, oh, I wonder why this guy's so nice to me. I wonder why, too. Why is he so nice to you? Like, no wonder why fucking the government's like, yeah, you can't fuck anyone under age 18. Bitch, you were dumb as hell. It was like, he was everything I wanted. He was super nice, super sweet. He was like, yeah. Of course he was super nice, super sweet. It was a pretty good first couple months. We started dating in December, so. Couple months, that mean that nigga was saving that pussy for later. That man was like, uh, let me get a few good extra taps before I leave it. This was like after talking for five or six months. We started getting sexually active by February, I would say. I Hold on, when was this video made? By February? Bitch, what the fuck? You, we don't even know when y'all started dating. All right, so let's go back in time from February. It's like, I like how she doesn't tell us what month they started dating. But she tells us what month they start fucking. <laughs> it's like, bitch, you remember the month that she started fucking, but not the month you start dating. And plus, if you guys don't know, she fucked this nigga in July. That means as soon as summer was kicking off, they were getting off. I was really comfortable with him. I wasn't, I was never that comfortable with a guy like I was with him. He was my first, and I think I was his first. Um, you know, you, know, you never know. Of course, guys were going to say that to you, but. Yeah, we're going to say that to you. Maybe was I your first? Depends. You want me to be? Nigga, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was your first. Mm -hmm. Throw that ass back, dude. I'm sure I was his first. We were like 14, 15. How are you sure? When this man gave me that weak dick in the beginning, that I don't know what I'm doing dick in the beginning. Because if he knew what he was doing, that wasn't his first time. If he going. No, that was not his first time. He's been there on this rodeo more than once. 14, 15. We started fighting a lot more, but it wasn't anything too serious. It was just getting to know each other. And July cut. It was just us getting to know each other. It's like, what What do you mean it was just you guys getting to know each other? What kind of fights were you guys getting into? Was this guy like a hardcore Donald Trump supporter and you supported Hillary or some shit? And I had to like convince my mom to take me to the ER, which she ended up doing. It was July 24th. So we went to the ER. First thing they asked me was, are you sexually active? And I said no, because my mom didn't know and I wasn't gonna out myself if I wasn't pregnant. True facts, never out yourself until it's the end, until you're back against the wall, then that's when they gotta throw out all the cars and hopefully they get distracted by it and so you can run away. So they instantly think I'm dehydrated and they put me on an IV, they take my urine sample just in case I am pregnant. Bro, you know the fucking how nervous I would be if I'm a girl and there's all right, you may be dehydrated. Here's some fucking IV drips and shit. I would have pee in this cup too. Why? Do it. And I was gonna have someone to love me unconditionally because I didn't get. And now we're getting into the real shit. She didn't get the fucking unconditional love from her family and she didn't get it from him. So I gotta go make this shit myself. I gotta go out here and fucking have a baby to have unconditional love. That is like the most selfish shit ever. <laughs> oh yeah, my family didn't give me love, neither did my boyfriend, so you know what fuck, I'm gonna have a child. Hopefully it loves me unconditionally. She tells my dad over the phone on our way home. As soon as I get through that door, he starts freaking out. Like he wanted to go to my boyfriend's house. He was so mad. I can't even describe it, but my mom, I would beat up a nigga too if he out here fucking piping out my daughter and then he wants to fucking stick me with the bill. My mom, on the other hand, she comes in my room and basically tells me I either have an abortion or I move out. Me being, me being the person I am, I don't believe in abortion. Yeah, I don't believe in abortion. He's like the I love character that them a Rabs be talking about all the goddamn time before they blow up. Sounds like blasphemy to me. Abortion's not for me. Just to stay in the house a little bit longer and avoid telling my boyfriend's mom. Me and my boyfriend make the appointment to have an abortion. I know that. Nigga, if you don't go pick that son of a bitch up. Nigga, if I'm that nigga parent, he gonna be walking his old happy ass over there if he won't be throwing shit. 
I know that. Hey, y'all saw that jump cut? Yeah, that's when that she went to go tear that little nigga's ass up. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit your little heavy ass down. So then I'm not gonna have it, but my boyfriend at the time had different thoughts. He was telling me everything was gonna be fine or whatever. School comes, we're sophomores, our first day back, and I'm- Oh, fuck, all right. So she, she was a freshman fucking this nigga and got pregnant. I get it, it's like you're 14, you're fucking, but condoms are free. I'm walking around campus, going to my next period, and I get a text from my friend saying, so-and-so is telling people you're pregnant. And this so-and-so is the same person I told him to stop talking to because she is nothing but drunk. So, so-and-so is this nigga side piece. Got it. So you were supposed to be the main hoe and you know, she on the side for whenever, you know, you tripping, right? God damn it, I, fuck. it's high school drama. It, 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 may go, it may go a different way, I don't know. Mama, she's known for what she does to relationships and I wanted him to have nothing to do with her. And this is exactly why. Him being the person he was, he still talked to her. He told her I was pregnant and she outed me to the, the entire school. Damn, what is she? This nigga's mom or some shit? Like, I told you not to talk to him. I mean, like, she ain't like, she about to beat this nigga ass or some shit. The way that she talking, she like, she about to put them hands on this nigga. And I knew that was going to happen if he talked to her. I was mad. I blew up on both of them. I told him, like, I told you stop talking to her. Why didn't you listen? Damn, this bitch really think that they in a serious relationship. Last time I checked, this nigga ain't putting no ring on your finger. So you can go ahead and sing Beyonce single ladies because that's what she is right now to this nigga or to tell people that i'm pregnant or you could just tell them to mind their damn business to move on with their goddamn life you know it's just a suggestion you know you don't have to fucking follow my advice i'm forced to tell people i'm pregnant by three months i don't know what the fuck you're talking about you're in the you're gonna stay skinny forever and fucking this baby's just gonna slide out like two ounces or some shit no this fucking motherfucker's about to be like fucking 30 pounds or some shit coming at like a fucking bowling ball Nigga, shut your little happy ass up trying to conjure some demons and some shit. This is a house of Christians. We believe in God up in this bitch. Long time, but of course, you know, someone had to ruin that. Anyways, the whole pregnancy was rough. It was rough with me and my boyfriend. He did a lot of shady things. I caught him once fucking a gay prostitute, and then he fucking lied to me saying that it was his cousin, which made it even worse. Because it's just not that video. Oh, is it gonna be the next video? You're gonna tell us all this dirt, dirty little secrets? I think this is where I'm gonna stop the video, bro, because this bitch, she just goes on and on. It's basically just, at this point, nothingness, and I have nothing else to talk about. Because it's just some fucking high school bullshit drama about how this bitch got pregnant and how fucking she can barely take care of it. And it's, it's basically what you're gonna think at the end. It, it, there is no plot twist in this fucking story. It's the most generic, basic story in the fucking world. But if you guys actually like this video, please share this because I'm pretty sure YouTube won't share this. But they'll fucking recommend her shit all the way to fucking hell because she's a fucking 14 year old girl pregnant. And that's what we need to be fucking recommending to 14 year old girls and fucking other people. So if you liked it, like it. Please share it. It'll really help me out a lot. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next video.